The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True, but this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, but Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. If I don't get this log to Central Authority, it'll be my neck. Please move along. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. If I don't get this log to Central Authority, it'll be my neck. Please move along. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly you to reception. Too. If you're staying here, watch your back. You should be careful. It's not safe here. Trust no one. If you're staying here, watch your back. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. 
This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with those pointed UAC. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Mars this City briefing is, is designed to acquaint you with a few of the Please standard operating procedures here on the areas. Mars post. Thank you for First your and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security out. and Is maximize some efficiency. I'm just All to get my personnel work done must have proper authorization in assigned areas. So be sure to annotate. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Try not to let this place get in your head. Just stay focused on your job, and you'll be back on Earth before you know it. Not a lot to do around here, but watch your back. Yeah, 
I saw those suits arrive too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me. Just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, gone the next. Lucky bastard. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment report Management to Sergeant Office Kelly ASAP. or Alpha. He's in command HQ. IPN News Network, your universe now. The Union Aerospace Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's bombing of a biomech production facility, resulting in the destruction of hundreds of biomech labor units. In space news, mining station Amman is reporting nine dead and 28 wounded in what appears to be an ore canopy failure during routine operations. This is the fifth incident in a string of mishaps that have plagued asteroid strip mining facilities in recent months. Deep Space Probe Madridi successfully executed the first of four engine bursts designed to alter the probe's course, according to officials. The probe's logic core first requested the diversion following yesterday's discovery of a negative light object outside the orbit of Sedna. The probe is set to resume its outer system mapping mission next week, following further scans of the fluctuating anomaly. Faint signals continue to be received from the failed Europa orbiter, which is said to be further evidence of survivors in Thursday's crash. Union Aerospace, who funded the privately operated orbiter, stated that there were no survivors and the signal is part of the NAVCOM system's automated distress beacon. Critics of the massive corporation say the Europa signal is undeniably originating from one or more survivors, and the high costs of mounting a rescue operation have led to the UAC's refusal. In IPN's business news, Mixum Corporation has filed suit against rival company Moxim, claiming the company infringed on several pressure seal patents utilized in planetary bases. Moxim lawyers have threatened a countersuit, saying that Mixom creates inferior parts based on original Moxim designs. Senate majority leaders this morning approved a nearly $80.2 trillion spending plan. The plan includes cuts in funding for the lunar outpost and several planetary platforms, as well as major revisions to the public health care system. The plan also calls for cutting the budget deficit in half by 2147. Gentech firm Reutier met further resistance this week in its plans to introduce genetically manufactured health products on Earth. A longtime supplier to military and space sectors, genetically modified products have seen poor sales in the consumer market. Reutier's latest medkit technology was slated to hit stores next month. For IPN News, this is Roger McKellen with Subspace News on the Hour. Miller. You hear about ah, Corporal Allen? Someone new. Yeah, they said he just it's always lost. nice seeing new faces around Shipped here. Shipped home this week. Hope you enjoy Another your Another newbie. Welcome to the worst Another assignment you'll place, ever man. have. Come <laughs> on. 
I've been here four years. My advice is to work hard and stay out of trouble. Try not to let this place get in your head. Just stay focused on your job. You'll be back on Earth before. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, Don't waste 10th, any more time. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, yes. coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out of me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technician. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now. Here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. When you complete your mission, report back here. Move out. No time to talk, bud. We both got work to do. Didn't you hear, Sarge? He gave you a mission. Move out, Marine. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UA. See, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower.
Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? He said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? You can't believe anything that guy says. Just telling you that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Another reason I can't wait to get out of here. UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. This is the audio log of May. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did... Dungeon Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Listen, Scotty, I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. 
Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kinda busy here. This is Grant Baston, your Environmental Services Supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apart of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get there. sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. And you don't sweat it. Your suit's got some oxygen. This is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God! We can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Help us! All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders.
Squad leaders, give sit rep. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. The main power system's down in sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Direct you to Marine Headquarters and await further orders.
Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. The mean as so You don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, keep them at bay. the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out.
This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. Hurry back with some help. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. This one of the dock workers actually told Stay me sharp, to sir. piss off when I tried Make to stop one of the last containers. I'm going straight to Delphi. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log.
This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18th, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose.
Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. Do we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my marines sharp and ready to go, but events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing, and no marines of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, Whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a racer's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Still alive. Nobody will here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. 
Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. Across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. You gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocon, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow.
Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Access denied. <laughs> Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them.
Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. I tried everything, but computers aren't responding. I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. All right, let's go. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel.
This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimization to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Off-World Research Division. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the elevator... Access granted. This is Paul Simon, Security Specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. 
They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. We need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for you. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of polarized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind.
Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something almost like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was my like sight. EPD laser active. His head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk. Although, after losing that brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I... have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of log. Help me.
Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. <laughs>